I'm Ramsey the loud one. I'm Jesse the short one. Put, Put us both into, into one. We are. Lots of noise, always too fast. Lots of laughs. Here's our podcast, the loud and short of it. Hi, and welcome to the Loud and Short of It. I'm Ramsey, the loud one. And I'm Jesse, the short one. Now, last week, we bitched a lot. And we complained and complained and complained. We said we each got ten things, and we were like, this is what society needs to stop on. I'm fucking sick of this. And usually we complain about complainers. We really went off script last time. It was fun. It was, we got to cosplay as fucking babies, dude. <laughs> we really should have bitched about the weather. But this week, we're not doing that. We're going to do some anti-complaints. Now, some people will call this a, a practicing gratefulness. We wouldn't, because we're not dorks. <laughs> anyway. Yes. So we've each written down ten things that we are... Not complaining about. In fact, we are appreciative of. Yeah. Um, we did Google what's the opposite of complaint before this, and there's not really a word. No. So no. Nope. Anti-complaint, baby. Yeah. That's what we're running. How with. do you bitch positively? <laughs> do you want to go first or second? Uh, I want to go first. Okay. Hit me with it. This is one of the great things in life, dude. I fucking love more than anything when you have, like, a healthy or non-harmful craving and you get to satisfy it immediately. Ooh, yes. There's nothing better than that. When I have a day off and I'm like, I wake up, I'm like, oh, fuck, man, I want to hike so bad. It's like 8.30 in the morning. And I'm like, there's nothing stopping me. Yeah. I get to absolutely fucking it's do It's very that. rare when the human condition is positive. But, yeah. But that is, that is one example where you, we really are just monkey, and sometimes monkey want what's good for monkey. Dude, yeah, it's... Really, one of the greatest things in life. I, I was craving. I've been craving salmon all week. And I was like, I'm gonna hold off. So I'm going to New York tomorrow. I'm like, no, nah, I'm gonna get some salmon in New York. For some reason, I thought that was gonna be better. It's closer to the ocean. It's closer to the ocean. Yeah. Um. Okay. This is what I got. I love how there's just free parks everywhere. Like I know that there's a lot cool. to complain about. Like apparently, other countries are better, et cetera, et cetera. But I feel like for my whole life, at least in the Austin area and St. Marcus, living in all kinds of different neighborhoods and whatnot. There's always been a place I could go and see a tree. Yeah, there's always somewhere to scamper. I like that a lot. I think that's a uh, one of the reasons I'm always scared to move to New York or go to New York is not just the terrifying rent. It's the fact that like I would have rent. to spend a lot of time trying to get into the woods. Now I have a fucking mental breakdown. I'm in the woods in 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, you don't it's even have awesome. to drive, really. No, I could just hop the fence and fucking walk for like 10 minutes. And be like, <laughs> all right. Don't look around too hard. You see a roof, don't get mad. Yeah. It's one of the few things our country's done that's that's semi-socialist, and it's fucking awesome. Yeah, dude. Socialism. We have a skate park. You know how cool we that is? We do have a skate Just park. Just a free skate park? That's awesome. Yeah, I love when there's places little kids can smoke weed. <laughs> what, is, what is the park system for other than that? Dude, yeah. I've never smoked weed at a park. Yeah. I have in many a jungle gym. <laughs> dude, for real? As a, as a grown adult, no, no. Oh, no, my no. God. Think of the only, police only knocking as a on child, our door. I would never as an adult. <laughs> Let us in. We know what you did at the park when you were 11. <laughs> I one time was actually at a park, right? We decided, we were very smart 12, 13, 14-year-old boys, that we weren't going to smoke weed in the jungle gym. We were going to go to the bathroom and smoke weed and then go back to the jungle gym. And we were going to leave all the weed in the bathroom. That way, if the cops showed up, it was like 2 a.m. at like a public park, then we wouldn't have anything on us. Lo and behold, cops show up and ask us what we're doing at a park at 2 a.m. Fucking about. And uh, we were like, ah, sorry, we'll go right home. Searched our pockets. Guy knew it was up. What didn't a find fucking anything. Dick. And then sent us home without like searching the park or any of that stuff. So... Got away with it. You heard that, kids. You want to avoid a stupid drug charge. Yep. Leave that shit in a bush. Yeah. Weed only. <laughs> <laughs> I, got a good, I got another one. If it's not weed, text us which bush. <laughs> <laughs> we'll protect it. Large gatherings. We gotta love a large I gathering. fucking love large gatherings. I love when there's a fuckload of people in one place. And this is actually a lot better. A lot of people don't like giant parties. I do, because whenever I throw a giant party, I know every fucking person there, <laughs> and I love and would die for almost all of them. Yeah. The be the ability to bounce around, the ability to feel like an ant. I love yeah. a party where the possibility of disappearing for a few minutes, don't have to think about it. Yeah. That's always great. You're at a your small little kickback with hanging out with like four or five friends. You can't, like, you can't just leave and collect yourself. Everyone will be like, oh, are you okay? Like, they're asking, like, 
making yeah. sure you're you're feeling all right. But I don't, I'm feeling fine. I just needed a, a couple minutes. You to can't myself. go to your fucking room and just sit there for a minute. Someone's gonna be like, "Where'd you go? <laughs> we need a fourth for Mario Kart." Get you fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but you got fifty friends around you. They might not even notice for an hour. Yeah. Hold on. Notice me. Other. They'll be like, it's fucking quiet as hell in here. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck did Ramsey go? Nobody's we screwed. can hear the music. What's yeah. going on? <laughs> <laughs> Who put on radio? Who put on pop music, dude? Uh, I'm I'm gonna copy yours. I got one already written down. That's that's in the same boat. Nice, dude. I love how important good friends are for us as a species. Oh yeah, like I really like that we like require companionship. Yeah, and I guess I'm just speaking as somebody with a lot of companions. Probably sucks if you're lonely, but man, it is. It's pretty cool that we're just, like, little social creatures. As someone who went from having literally zero friends, and I mean, like, zero friends, <laughs> it's fucking hilarious now, where I'm just, like... I, I talk to my friend Cam uh, sometimes. It makes me really angry, because I'll be like, God, I have too many people fucking text me, asking me to do I was like, I'm busy all the time. I was like, I'm stressed out. And then he'll just be like, good problems to have, bro. <laughs> and I'll just be like, I'll fucking kill you, good problems to have. It's my favorite <laughs> thing he says. I'll, uh, it's kind of like when you go to the zoo and you see the monkeys... It just makes me happy to see that they're they're playing around and hanging out with each other. Yeah, they're just goofing off. But then you go look at like I don't know birds, some of the some of the dumber animals. Birds they, chill fat. They don't really care that there's other birds there though. Like they don't, like they're like they're like they're like that's a thing to fuck. But then they just go off and do their own thing again. Or like that's a thing to raise. But like they don't have like they don't have like bird communities. You know, I guess flamingos do. Maybe they and penguins. Do. Drop bird facts. Some, yeah, in some the, bird nerd in the comments. We should out. give us some animal facts. Um, there's got to be an animal that isn't social. Yeah. Snails. Snails don't care about other snails. That's true. Cats don't really care about other cats that much. Yeah, they do. Cats really? cuddle all the time. Mm. It's adorable. I love seeing cats hang out. Well, fine. I guess all animals then. Yeah. I'm happy that all animals need buddies. Oh, yeah. I got a random one I'm throwing in right now. What? I love when animals are friends with animals that aren't them. I do love a dog and cat hanging out. Yep. That makes yep. me super happy. I've seen happy. a duck and a dog. Cutest thing in the fucking world. That's I've seen a donkey and a cat. I've seen some good ones, I dude. I saw that on the internet, too. Yeah. Hmm. There's some great ones out there. Yeah. Hmm. And humans and dogs? Pigs and spiders. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Might end bad for one or two of them, though. Yeah. How does that end? Does she get killed? She gets turned into piggy meat. A little bacon. The I spider? Don't I don't the know. spider's a girl. <laughs> it's a pig He's talking a about the pig. The spider doesn't get... The spider dies. The spider dies. That's how it ends. Nice. I, I remember. I, that, what a happy ending. God yeah. damn. Yeah. All right. I got another one. I fucking love, and I just did this recently, I love getting lunch with a friend on a whim. Mm. Where I was just like, I just got out of the gym, and with fucking one of my good friends, Taylor, she watched this one, I said, like, fucking, she's a, someone nobody knows. <laughs> Taylor, one of my best friends ever. Uh, I fucking I went to go uh, work out and she texted me and she was just like, um, "God, you're like just woke up. It's like fucking noon or whatever." I was like, "Dude, good for you. Holy shit, that's awesome." And she's like, "Yeah, I don't really have plans for today." I was like, "Do you want to get lunch with me right after I'm done working out?" She's yeah. like, "Yeah." And we went and got lunch at this fucking awesome place, and I had so much fun. And I was like, "This is great." Yeah, and I just got to go home and do some other fucking shit. Back in high school, when everything was just on a whim, and you just made your plans that day and figured it all out, yeah. it wasn't that much fun. It was hella stressful. I like having my fucking Saturdays planned out a month in advance and knowing what I'm going to get up to, but it makes when that whim happens so nice. When that random Thursday comes up and you got nothing going on and a friend yeah. hits you up, dude, there's nothing sweeter. Dude, it feels so good. Hmm. Just basking in it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go get lunch right now. <laughs> You want to go get dinner after this? Yeah. Fuck yes. There we go, dude. Thank now God. I'm excited for the podcast to be over. Let's let's speed through it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love how traffic just kind of works. I feel like we did a couple complaints yesterday that's about traffic, and there are people who speed like assholes and cut people off. There are people who tailgate. There's all kinds of trouble. People die on the roads. But generally speaking... If you were an alien and you looked down and saw us getting around at the speeds we do in little metal death boxes, fucking fascinating. Yeah. Back they would in the be day, shocked that we were not on trains and like all like yeah. all unified. They're probably like, "Holy fuck, they're all just, we just free make it ball on this, dude." We just do it. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Back in the like if you wanted to go like if you wanted to go visit a friend who lived in a different state, not that you could even have that back in the day, but if you did, 
and get on a fucking horse. Take you yeah. a month to get over there. Bro, you, you get a, a month. Whole you take thing. your kids with you. You lose two of them to fucking yeah. f- riv- just, river flu or whatever bullshit they fucking infected children <laughs> with back flu. then, bro. Uh, travel in general. That's the thing I love. It's yeah. fucking great. I can go anywhere I want right now. I got a passport, baby. I need to get a one way one way ticket wherever I want to go. That's that's insane. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. What a world. Our ancestors couldn't even fucking imagine. They were all in their tiny little fucking. Do you want to get lunch in France after this? <laughs> yeah, we could. We could. We, totally we could, could do that. I like that. Damn, being grateful for traffic. Holy shit. <laughs> that is something I'd overhear at a party and just roll my eyes, look at you, and be like, God, what a fucking douchebag. <laughs> 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 all right, I'm my next one. Um. I love when I'm gonna skip over one because this one's too similar. Okay. I love when someone says some small thing about a nerdy thing and you get the info dump on them. Mm. That's just something I've been practicing this past year. A bunch of Letting weird yourself be weird. Oh, dude, I've fucking dumped Star Wars info. It's been so fun. You do just have random you have points the big two. I have Star Wars and Lord of the Rings yeah. shit locked in here, fucking yeah. every time, and nobody expects it. Like, and man, you know more Marvel stuff than most. You really have I know, three. I, I know everything about Marvel, everything about DC. I know everything about Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, all the dorky shit. Yeah. It's so fun. All the, that, all the lore-heavy uh, yeah. movies. It makes me so happy. The other day, Cam was like, are there tattoos in Star Wars? And then I was like, yeah, Darth Maul. He's like, Darth Maul's not tattooed. He's like, actually fucking is, dude. Because he's a fucking Zabrak who got who fucking was one of the people who went over the Dathomir, which is a planet in Star Wars that was run by a giant cult called the, the Night Sisters. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, everyone knows Would you knows say you've that. seen a thousand movies? <laughs> Thousands, even. Thousands? Even, Thousands. dude. Thousands, even. Wow, you must know a lot about movies. I know, yeah, I love movies. I love movies. I love movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up. <laughs> uh, I think you're going to really like this one. Okay. Uh, if I really got to think about it, one of my, my top ten that I could come up with, I love that people can sing. Yeah, it's just I tight. can't do it yeah. at all to save the life of me. So it makes me really happy when I see somebody else do it. And I don't really care that they're singers. Like, yeah. I don't care that somebody can make music and sing. That's not very cool. Of course, there'd be some outliers who are good some enough fun to make art. that. Yeah. But when you see, like, a friend who's just good at singing, yeah, and they're not like, I don't want them to be that good, then it stops being something I'm grateful for, and I'm like, okay, show off. But when they're just yeah. good at singing, I'm like, that's so fucking cool. Dude, yeah. You can just turn that on. Sometimes I wonder, like, you asked me one time, he was like, how fuck do you think your life would be if you couldn't sing anymore and i was like like pretty bad i sing like all the fucking time i didn't yeah. even think about it i mean i sing it's a good so amount fun as well and i don't i can't even do it i'm yeah, just like i'm just doing a little tune like it's not like it not even like uh changing my voice really i'm just talking that's slower. very true yeah <laughs> usually that's your favorite band is cake yeah, yeah. <laughs> i like things i can sing along to. yeah dude bro loves rap music <laughs> rap raps too fast and regular too songs fast are too and rhythmic for you, bro. So I need cake, where it's a good mix of the two. At the starting line, engines bumping, bumping and, and dumping in time. time. The green light flashes, flashes the flags go up. up. Wait, we're gonna get fucking. Oh, sure, we're gonna get copyright. <laughs> we sound just. We have made that exact joke bar yeah, for bar like two weeks ago. That's insane. <laughs> uh, okay, what else do I got? Is it my turn or your turn? It's your oh turn. yeah, it's my turn. Um. Oh. I fucking love love getting a piece of clothing i don't like and then i figure out how to style it mm. and one day it just fucking locks it with me and i overwear it what's that thing called this like oh the crazy thing that i do thing that people do i don't think it's a very common one but like i like when you imprint on imprint, clothing imprint, that, i made that yeah. up i don't think that's like an actual oh thing. i thought that was like a term for no some, it's something some for things. me because i've been saying uh, and i just will wear i won't really like a piece of clothing for a while mm-hmm. and then i'll wear it one time and i'll just be like oh it's perfectly a part of me now and then <laughs> i will wear it over i really didn't like that zeppelin shirt when i first got it yeah and then i wore it every single day i didn't like really like that hat you got i liked the way it looked and everything but i didn't like the way it fit and everything and then fucking just wore that trailer's hat times. constantly. Well, I do that with food. I I don't like foods, and I just train myself by eating food I don't like over and over and over again, and eventually my fucking ape brain is like, I like this now. It provides me sustenance. See, so it's it not even like good. that. I don't even try yeah, wearing not forcing I, it. I won't yeah. even wear it, and then one day I'll put it on. I'll be like, oh, shit, I'm back. I love this. That's fun. You yeah. like a weird thing about yourself. Yeah. It's, so. it's, it's just like, because it, so many times it's happened where, like, 
I'll buy something. I'll be like, I fucking hate this. And then I'll just wear it one time in a certain way. I started tucking in my t-shirts because there was one shirt I really fucking didn't like. And then I tucked it in and I started looking myself in the mirror and I was like, I love this. And then I, I literally can't wear a fucking t-shirt. That's a fun one. That's a, that's a not being fat anymore thing. Oh yeah. If you tucked a t-shirt in 18 months ago, it would have been a rough fucking look for you. (laughs) Now they're like, oh, I've trim and proportioned you look, my dude. <laughs> oh, also, I like when you can change a piece of clothing that you think sucks by, like, just you do something different with it. I love wearing my cutoffs now. I love this fucking shirt. I can't stop wearing it. It was a, sh- it was a denim shirt. It was too big for me, and I cropped it. Mm, he just likes cutting stuff. I fucking love it. I love a cropped look, dude. <laughs> um, okay, I got one. It's a two-parter. Okay. I love when strangers talk to each other, but only when it's not weird. Makes me very happy when I have an interaction with a complete stranger, and it's like good. I leave it, and I'm like, that was perfect. Yeah, that shit is fucking so good, dude. I was getting uh, Natalie's car fixed today, getting the AC repaired, um, or picking it up after that, and there's this lady sitting there, and they come in, and they're like, hey, uh, your car actually doesn't take Freon. It takes RBC962, and instead of being $100, it's going to be $400. And they were like, do you need a minute to think about it? And she was like, yeah. And then they walked out of the room and she pulled her phone out. And I got to be like, hey, um, ma'am. And then she turned and I was like, I, the exact same thing happened to me yesterday. They're not bullshitting you. It, it is like a new Freon and it's super expensive. And this is that's a totally fine price to pay. And she was like, oh, thank you so much. I was literally just Googling to find that out. And yeah. I was like, yeah, no problem. And then we didn't say a fucking other word Little, to each other. You no, know, he got a and fucking $1,000 Pet Boys gift card. <laughs> <laughs> and and then like, when she thanks. was getting her car, she packed up her, her bag and walked by me and said, have a great day. And I was like, you too. And it was like, damn, dude. Do you Can everyone someone? just act normal in public? Yeah, seriously. If you would have said that to me, I would have even started talking in public. I'd be like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> you weird fucker. I like that one. So I guess I'll add that I'm I'm grateful. I won't say I love. I'm grateful that I live in the South where that's a normal thing. Yeah, that's I always fair. feel so good coming back here after I've been in New York for a while because, and you're actually going to be there very soon. Yeah. Because after like a week there, I'm like, I'm going fucking insane. See, Just pretending the, that other people don't exist is insane. I get the polar opposite, dude. Hey, the polar opposite because that shit happens. That's that's. I don't give a fuck. I I don't like interactions like that. Like I will talk to someone. Like it's rare that I, have, I get a good social interaction. I have a stranger, but whenever I go to bars in New York, because I just walk around the entire time mm-hmm. I go there for like a fucking like two weeks almost. I'll go and I'll sit at the bar. If you sit in a bar for long enough in New York in certain bars, people will talk to you. Yeah. The person next to you will start having a conversation with. They'll start asking you questions. The bartender will start asking you questions. I got a ton of free drinks in New York because I talked to the bartenders. <laughs> it was super fun. I really hope I get a run back of that. Yeah. But yeah. You need to do the the solo bar trips in in New York next time I'm there. Yeah, dude. You sit there with a book or just start writing. It's a fucking ton of fun. Uh, Let's see what my next one is. Oh, uh, this one, I I think you know this about me. I fucking absolutely love sharing stuff with people in a group setting. Like, I love having, like, like like candy or, like, having, like, a fucking vape or something. Like, that shit makes me so (laughs) happy. Boy, do you like when somebody has a vape to share. I do love that, and (laughs) I love when I have one as well. I can be like, hey, do you want some of this? And they're like, they're like, yeah, I do. I'm like, yeah, dude, we're, like, breaking the law together. (laughs) It's fun. It's cute. And I love having candy. I love fucking pulling a pack of Skittles out at a party and just giving out to, like, eight different people. Like, hey, you want some Skittles, dude? It's so fun. People are childlike when they see the, the little box of candy. You always have the good one, too. You have, like, the movie theater box. I always get the biggest one I can find because I'm just like, it is not going to be just That is the only downside of being sure I like people size, you love. You yeah. actually use it for sharing. Yeah, uh, I always give it I always give it to, to other people. I love when people have the fruity gum because I've never bought gum in my fucking life. Oh, really? But when, whenever offered, I always take a fruity gum. Mm, I love it. I do love the fruity gum. I don't like a minty gum. But we're talking about anti-complaints. So yeah, I love true. a fruity gum. Well, that's if you, if you take on. minty gum at a party, you can't drink your beer. Yeah. It's just like shit. Yeah. Unless you're drinking peppermint schnapps, baby. Dude, that's concerning. That's um, okay. I love this sometimes. They'll just be a new animal. What? So, uh, I got shown recently. There's otters in the Nile. Six feet tall. What? Six foot long otters. They exist. You can look them up. They're fucking crazy. I can you can just find there's just new animals. That's insane. I'll put a picture of one. They're fucking huge. They're they so are big. big, dude. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. That's, I had no clue that existed. Right, and imagine mm. like what it must have been like a hundred years ago. Like, people would just find like new foods. They would just be like, hey, we went here and we found this spice. We found this fruit. We found this 
fucking thing. You you want to see it? And you can just see new stuff. And you'd think with the internet and and the transportation, there wouldn't be that. But yeah. every once in a while, somebody would just drop some new some new fucking animal. Yeah, actually, on you. Dude, we found this leaf. You crunch it up and put it in this white paper. You look cool as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's there's awesome. a fucking there's a there's a potu. It's this bird that has a crazy fucking noise. the noise, and I'll show you the bird. Fuck it. Is it the bird that I swore I'd kill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but yeah. then you heard the noise. It's the scariest looking bird, but the noise is awesome. I want one. Do I want to be the John Wick of these birds? <laughs> and the fear me greatly. All right, yeah, I like that. Damn, I never thought about that. Oh, Sometimes there'll sucks. be new frogs. You ever see those frogs where the colors are crazy? And they're like, new frog. Yeah, because they're like, there's a billion frogs. They, there they're are never a like, frogs. they're never two frogs that look like. For some reason, dogs. They're all dogs. But then you have like a blue frog and a turquoise frog, and they're like totally different frogs. They're like these. This is not just frogs. These frogs are all different. They look the same. They just have different colors. I know. You get a oh, you're a like, joke. Yeah, this is okay. the fucking <laughs> scientist, <laughs> dog. Oh, okay. They're always like. They're always like. Is a different. They're like this one's the. It's so obvious. Yeah, it's so one's. obviously this vague Latin name. And I was like, no, it's red frog and blue frog. Red they're frog, friends, frog. dude. Green frog, two frog. Exactly. All right, I got one. I fucking and I like this too. I love when people show off like a little kid or. Fucking when you get to show off like a little kid. Mm. Went rock climbing recently, and I did an insanely good job on something that I was like, "Holy shit!" I didn't just dog this out and go pure strength. I had to use technique, mm. and I was like, "Ooh, uh, mom, come watch." It was, <laughs> wasn't mom? It was one of my friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> I fucking I showed them, and I got so fucking giddy. It makes nice. me so hyped. Yeah, I love just when anybody's excited about something. Yeah, it can be something I don't give a fuck about but yeah. just seeing people get hyped about it is so <laughs> every funny. time i get excited about anything all of our friends are like oh my god it's happy rams yeah i'm like all right dude i'm not like on a fuck i'm not on the cusp of death at all times <laughs> i do take things seriously though <laughs> um what else do i got here okay i got a, i got another uh modern times one all right i love that every question you have can be answered yeah, it's pretty tight. Imagine 100 years ago, 50 years ago, fucking 40 years ago, but not any closer than that. If you had a question, you might have to go to a library. Yeah. Or, like, go to, like, the smart guy in town and be like, well, how'd this do? And then now you can just Google how'd this do, and immediately you get told how it do. Dog, you ever think about fucking learning to cook back in the day? Oh my god! Yeah, There's you just had to no try stuff. fucking way. Your parents would have had, to, your mom would have had to fucking teach you, or you would have had to been like, go to the library, and be like, I'll take this cookbook. The parent teaching stuff, because my dad is not like a handyman. Like he knows some good plumbing stuff, but not. I like I know significantly more than he does, and I've done fucking almost whole house remodels at this point. YouTube, baby. Yeah, I can just get skills. Yeah. And we have to pay for college, and you can just go on the internet and learn everything. You can just go learn any degree Yeah. by going on the internet and Googling things. You can learn literally anything. I decided to start playing guitar one day when I was 24. Yeah. That's how I started. That's how I learned guitar. It's just it, it, all through the fucking internet. Never got a lesson. Never had anyone fucking And AI help me. makes it even easier. You just want to be like, you want to like have a base knowledge or something. You can be like, write me a one-page paper on this, and then yeah. it will do it, and you just read that. Like, you used to have to find a book, like a real fucking book, and, like, process it like a, like a human. You yeah. have to actually understand it. You don't have to understand anything anymore. Yeah. You can just get the bare minimum that you need to know and run with it. God, dude. Fucking, it's fucking awesome. It's terrifying, but I, I like I like it's that. It's so that, that's, cool. That actually is real now. Yeah. There's, there's so much that we complain about about technology and then we don't focus on the parts of it that just kick fucking ass dude that's really true if you do you think about like music ever like how much music you can just have yeah it's just, just off there. the bat it's just there i was thinking about uh today i was like uh i was like man i want to fucking i was like i want to listen to this, this fucking heart record i was like i want to listen so bad and i was just like oh shit i can just do that and i was yeah. thinking about it and i was like dude Fucking fourteen year old Ramsey would have lost his mind. Yeah. He would be like, Holy fuck, what the, are you uh, talking about? You don't it's not downloaded. There's not a storage <laughs> issue. I was like, No, dude. No, it's all data. It's all there. There's a at my grandmother's house, there's a like nineteen twenties phonograph. So it's like a record player, but each record is just a song. 
So you used, to, you used to have to go and buy two songs at a time. Not to mention just to get that song out. You can record a song now and release it. Back then, if you were white, here, you had to go get a record label that had enough money to print that. And if you were black, you had to go give up 90% or more of the profits and get a record label who would print that. And then you had to go buy two songs at a time, come home, and every time the song ended, you had to walk over, flip a thing, put another thing on, put it on, and listen to one song again. No way, now dude. I can listen to 24 hours of songs without touching anything. I can listen to Nirvana and then directly after also, listen to it, fucking Hyper Pop, dude. It follows me. I can just play it. And yeah, walk around. That's, that's true. fucking nuts. When the Walkman mm. came out, they thought that was the end. They thought they had figured it all out. They got <laughs> music to move. They weren't even halfway there. Dude, we're so. This is. I feel so happy right now. The <laughs> world. I don't give a fuck about nuclear warfare anymore. <laughs> all right, I got one. I love off-brand shit that kicks ass. We don't have to go long on this, but I bought these fake Birkenstocks. And I wore them for like a day, and I was like, they're terrible. They hurt so bad. They're cutting my feet, and yeah. now they don't do that anymore. I wear yeah, them fucking all the time. Yeah, you said the same thing if you bought real Birkenstocks. Yes, he just didn't know. I was so happy. It fucking saved me a ton of money. Cause one of Natalie fucking has. Uh, fake Birkenstocks and I didn't know that yeah. and then she's like oh yeah these are fake and I was like well I'm going to go spend $20 at Target instead of 100 at Birkenstock.com mm -hmm. nobody can fucking tell yeah. and if they can why are you fucking staring at my feet weirdo or judging that they're they're the same fucking shoe yeah very it's like odd. anybody that like I've had a couple people be like oh you got an Arctic instead of a Yeti and I was like yeah because it's the obvious fucking choice yeah like, why would I spend the extra $200 they're the no same sense. cooler it makes no sense so, All right, you get your you, next one. Thank we you, have one Stocks and, and Arctic. Yeah, shout out Goodfellow Stocks. Goodfellow. That's the Target brand, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, I love AC. Yeah, it really makes everything different. Remember how much we used to sweat in here? Ones. Yeah. We used to, dude, pouring we a, sweat. Yeah, we, we used to sweat so hard that we didn't even stop the pod because the camera would break. Yeah, the camera would fucking kill us. We'd go itself. back to old episodes and it just turns into a picture of us yeah. for the last and half. And we yell at it and we like, this camera's a piece of shit. <laughs> you know, we're like literally pouring sweat. We'd yeah. get up, there's a giant puddle under our asses. Yeah. All right. I love my, my modern comforts. What can I say? Could have just made that one thing. Yeah, there's nothing truly like modern comforts. We can just DoorDash anything we want. It's awesome. Now, that one, I don't know how thankful I am of it. Dude, I am. But, but I'm glad that you are. Dude, you ever want fucking candy and vape at 2 a.m.? It does make it, it makes group settings a lot easier because then somebody doesn't have to leave to go get the food. Yeah. I remember being with my family all the time as a kid, and we'd, we'd get like, we did we'd, somebody, my dad and me, or either my mom and my sister would go out to go get food, and it would always just be like, well, pfft. Now the vibes are gone. Yeah. You know, wait an hour and a half for the food to get here. Or I'm going and I don't want to. And now Dude, you yeah. just get to keep hanging out with your buds. Yeah, see, my family never got that fixed. We always still have to pick it up. Whenever uh, deliver. Really? It's so fucking annoying. All right, I got one last one. Okay. Drinking games. Yeah, I fucking love all the drinking games we play. They're I love all games, so fun. Dude. I fucking I don't. We were at a we were at McKinney Falls, which is a little like waterfall swimming area in Austin this last weekend. And the second I got there, there was this big fucking rock. I'll put a picture with like little holes, kind of like a beehive looking thing. And we just played this game for like easily 45 minutes where we just picked up rocks and tried to get them in the hole. Yeah. And just did that. For 45 minutes, so fucking fun. It was very fun. I got the most rocks in the hole, ran that for the rest of the day. I felt great. <laughs> I would love to be there right now throwing rocks in that same hole. It was very – I wish we got a picture of that. It's lame we didn't. Yeah. There was like four dudes just standing there just chucking rocks at the wall. I'm saying real small hole. They were far pretty away. small. It was, it was one out of every 50 throws you'd get a rock in yeah. there. But, man, that felt good. I need that instant gratification, so I threw like – 10 and i was like oh it sucks and then i fucking finally got one in there i was like all right i'm leaving and i came back literally 45 minutes later everyone was still doing it i was like that's crazy i'd love this for them um but yeah drinking games yeah. outside of just games in general yeah i love beer pong i love flip cup they're so fun love uh baseball <clears throat> love baseball i really love all the pong know games any of the I'm rules fucking awesome ask for them in the comments yeah or just uh, play with Jesse and uh, make a ton of shots and be like, hey, Jesse, what do I do next? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get mad when you win. Um, yeah. It's also fun that drinking games are like, they're not permeated by the internet. 
Like, if you ever look up yeah, the rules dude. for drinking games, every single time you look at the rules for a drinking game, you're like, those aren't the rules. The things that I was told by a friend are the rules. Yeah. And that just, like, spreads out, and every state has a different way to play beer pong. Yeah. It's so fun. It's also super fun because whenever you're out playing beer pong, and some fucking chud is some dumbass rule that, like, makes it less fun. Yeah. You used to be like, oh, homeowner, who's one of us. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get to be like, no, we're not playing like Texas that. Texas rules, baby. Yeah. We're doing it the right way. Fucking weirdo you don't it's have to so make 90 fun. fucking cuffs in a row to redeem yeah i also love just uh i love inserting new house rules that aren't even the way you're supposed to play it like yeah. getting rid of redemption that's the mm. best thing in the world i love not playing with redemption Dude, not for me i'm a fucking Fuck redemption. i'm a clutch player i don't dog. like those long games man let the game end yeah um you i know i got more on drinking drinking cart the drinking the drinking games just work in so many settings and they're excellent icebreakers for meeting new people yeah i love playing king sky i love those ones where we're sitting around the table yeah because there's those where you sit around the table and there's like rage cage the ones where you're like we're, you're like okay we're going feral yeah like they're all just so because even the ones that are just like sitting around the table you go fucking feral sometimes yeah it's such a it's just such a fun you get to weird see thing people to do. it's kind of like the putt putt of drinking it's like you get to see people's competitive levels in a thing that doesn't matter at all yeah that's which true is really fun you can learn a lot about a person if you if you compete with them in something that both of you know doesn't matter. Yeah. Because I will immediately go feral and be like, I have to win, I have to win, I have to win. Mm. And when other people do that as well, I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. We're both we're both morons. Let's nice. let's be morons together. I like that. <laughs> okay. I got uh, I think two more. I think you only did nine. No, I did ten. Oh. Well, I got two more. Uh I love when women are hot. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I like that they did that. Like, whoever did all this, whoever set all this stuff up that we're all living in, they really fucking the nailed rib, that baby. one. The rib, baby. Shout out to yeah, the rib. Shout out to the main man, Jesus and his dad, Yeah, um, I guess. <laughs> and uh, and Allah and um, Yahweh nice. and uh, the Hindu and Buddhist ones and Mother Nature and nice. Zeus. Nice. And uh, all the other ones I missed. Dude, yeah. Um, fucking just out of the park on women. Just fucking nailed it. Really, uh, real home run. Yeah. Just like there's different shapes, man. It's crazy. Yeah, it's awesome. Who, who could have thought of it, man? It's fucking nuts. If this you told a... me, if you sat me down in a room and you were like, draw the best shit, I would not have come up with that. It'd be like a triangle or something. Yeah, you'd be like, this isn't boobs. <laughs> That's good. So I actually have one more. Okay. Unlock, bitch. Like strong men, big, big, large fellows, big, large dudes lifting stuff. I love when your day is unplanned, okay. and you just end up chaining a bunch of stuff you wanted to do together, mm. or you like doing together. So not exactly the uh, the on a whim hangout. But yeah, like no. When you, when you just turn a nothing day into a something. Yeah, day. I'm like, man, what's fucking next? I had a, a, a day where I was like, I'm just gonna fucking chill. I had nothing going on. I pick up my friend from the airport. Yeah. And I woke up in the morning. I went to go lift, and I was like, oh, that was fucking awesome. And then I was like, I'm gonna go hiking. And then you were like, let's run a mile first. I was like, all right. Went and ran a mile, and I was like, I'm kind of tired. I'm not gonna go hiking. And I was like, eh, well maybe I'll just sit out there, sit in the <laughs> water. So I went out there, and then I went on a super hard hike. And I came back, came grab my friend, and then we were like, all right, we're going to Chewy's. And I was like, nice. I wanted to eat Chewy's steak today. <laughs> went to a Chewy's steak, and we went to the movies. And I was like, what a solid, insane day. I did like yeah. five different things, and I all like. That's very fun. Yeah. I similarly love a bad day with friends. I've had four or five days where like everything just keeps going wrong. Mm. Like the restaurant you wanted to go to is closed. The concert you were going to, somebody gets COVID. These are both yeah. on the same day. But there's been other days. But just like a day where like everything you want is just not lining up. Everything your friends want isn't happening. Just nobody's getting what they want. But it's just like you're all in it together. Yeah, like, why and not? it just doesn't fucking matter. You're like, fuck it. We're going to have a great day. Yeah. Or have you ever had a day where you and your boy or you and your girl are both fucking so like you're, you're sad about separate things. But like life's not going great, and then you just you just still somehow have a good day. Yeah, and you're both just like man, everything sucks, and we're not gonna try to fix it. We're just gonna be like, this day is gonna be okay. You remember though. that time we had half a keg for my birthday because it broke? Yeah, and we got fucking 
not blackout drunk, but we drank for like 12 hours straight. And, and not out of the keg because it was busted. And we kept trying to MacGyver beer out of it. Yep. We both weren't we were like doing amazing. We upside down. We yeah. tried everything. We had at one point, it was propped up against two boxes with one thing pressing the, the keg thing in to hopefully get beer to siphon out. And I think we got like a quarter beer out of it. Yeah. And then we just ended up drinking a shitload of uh, can cores. Yeah. The, the end result fucking 8 was that somehow was all out of the, the gas, the, the fucking whatever. Yeah, it no makes clue. It all pressured, but yeah, but it was fucking hilarious. We were just like ah, fucking not having the best time ever. <laughs> we just got shit housed, but we made it work. We did make it work. It was one of the fucking most fun days. Okay, my last one, and I think the last one of the podcast. Correct, it's the last you one know? podcast. Uh, okay, I love when people are just categorically wrong and they don't back down from it. <laughs> I love a crazy person. Okay, that shit makes me so happy. I. I like it whenever I hit the point of being like, I'm done. Mm -hmm. And then there's like three other people who can't let it go. And I'm just like, yeah. It's so fun. And uh, let me get get clear. If these people are in positions of power, it is a fucking nightmare. Yeah. I'm not happy about that. But this is the answer. Tell me you're When they have no power and they're just saying outlandish shit that doesn't make sense and is wrong and they're not going to stop, it, if you just let it flow over you, it is so fucking funny. Yeah. To just listen to a deranged person who doesn't know what they're talking about continue to talk. Yeah. I do like the collective groans of the of the audience and yeah. like everyone just being like, God, this guy fucking blows. I love seeing, yeah, the, the range of reaction is just yeah. so fun. It's similar to like you and me both enjoy when like a good fight or like bad social thing happens out in public it's that so doesn't funny. involve us, yeah, like, we immediately are full of joy. When somebody makes a social faux pas and says something they shouldn't, and then is like, "I'm going to keep doing it," I'm like, "This is awesome!" Yeah, I get to watch like what would have been my favorite part of a TV show in real life. It's like their mouth is falling down the stairs. Yes, <laughs> and, and they're, they're like, just like, "I meant to do this." <laughs> exactly. Like, Shut up, dude. Yeah, I do and especially that. when like when I I mean I've you know made made a fair share of said the wrong thing, thought the wrong thing, et cetera, et cetera, and just know to like be like, oh, that was a fuck up. Yeah, I'm gonna mm-hmm. stop doing that. And when you see somebody that doesn't have that skill, it is so sweet. I also love when they come up to you and you're like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I'm like, no, no, I am never on that train. I'm oh, always, I'm always on the, the I'm on the tell me. me more. Yeah, I'm I want let, you to continue. Let I, me know the next thing. I just don't want to be implicated or involved in them being <laughs> weird. I'm like, I want, I want to watch you from afar and laugh heartily at your expense. I want to be directly involved. <laughs> I want to be encouraging the behavior while being obviously against said behavior. Well, okay, but saying inquir- asking inquiring questions, though, is so fucking yes. good. Oh, my God, that's like hard <laughs> drugs. Someone just says something that's like so insanely bad, and you're like, mm, follow up. Or when somebody, like, it's like a hurt ego, they don't want to lose an argument. So, like, when they've lost and, like, there's no way out, they just start, like, weaseling into the next, like, random topic or, like, thing. That is just so great. Yeah. It's so fun. I like that one less. Is that I'm at a point where I'm just like, I want to get out of here. This guy's a fucking loser. <laughs> Shut up. I love it. Yeah, those are the things we're grateful for. Fucking losers, dude. I don't know when you shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like a lot of my anti-complaints stem from things that could be complaints mm. or aspects of them suck, but it's like if you just zoom out a little bit and you and you take things less seriously, they become fucking hilarious. I like that. Traffic when you're in it sucks. Traffic when you think about it conceptually, fucking crazy. Yeah. People who are saying really bad stuff can, can kind of be hurtful in the moment. Zooming out and being like, that person doesn't really matter to me. Fucking hilarious. Yeah. That's true. Mine were all just stuff I liked. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all we got for this week. We gotta fucking go get dinner because I'm so hungry. Yeah, let us know in the comments what stuff you like. Yeah, and we'll, then think about it real hard and don't complain. Yeah, and past Ramsey and Jess, you'll see you next week. I'm gonna be in the Big Apple. Yeah. This episode was recorded a long time ago. Yeah, dude. Dun, dun, dun. Also, um, go to the link on our Twitter, please, and fill out a form. We're going to be doing um, uh, some answering y'all's advice or giving advice to y'all's questions. It's also going to be under here. Boop, 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 boop.